Putting pen to paper, Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio proclaimed the month of January Cervical Health Cancer Awareness Month. These are really good messages because there are many people uh, in our community who don't, uh, don't realize that uh, just a little bit of prevention goes a long way. And that's what we're trying to do. And prevention works from one of the leading causes of death in women to a preventable and treatable one. Cervical cancer has seen a dramatic decline in the last 40 years. According to the American Cancer Society, that's in large part to cervical cancer screenings now recommended for women as young as 21 years old. Screenings, both pap tests and HPV tests, are proven effective at detecting precancers before they develop into cancers. Once detected, precancers can be treated and stopped before it starts. Also present at last week's proclamation signing Guam Regional Medical City President and CEO Margaret Bengzon who notes that because Guam is so small cancer truly does affect us all. We all know how, how terribly devastating that this disease burden can be. In most parts of the world the battle against cancer people are winning. In Guam you know not really and um, that's really because we don't have the, 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 the care and the services, the specialized care and services that we need to, to, to beat cancer. And um, that, that's why we're here. That's why the Guam Regional Medical City is here. That's why the new hospital is pledging its commitment to delivering world-class and specialized service, not just for cervical cancers, but all cancers. We understand that this traditional approach of one size fits all for cancers doesn't work. Okay, we understand that each person's cancer is unique. Also joining in on his commitment to finding the cure, Committee Chair on Health Care, Senator Dennis Rodriguez, Jr. To me, this, this, this really um, touches home because when we talk about cervical cancer, it, it affects the, the, the individuals in our lives and our homes who are the foundations of our homes, the women. And so, you know, really, um, as, we, as we work to uh, get the awareness out there, and get people to, um, you know, prevent this disease from happening. I want to thank the people who really, who are the, the fighters, the NCD Consortium, Public Health, we've got Guam Cancer Care, American Cancer, and all the others really who are, I tell you, I've never seen such dedicated um, folks. For the month of January, all cancer prevention groups will focus their efforts on education specific to cervical cancer. With this week's Health Check Report, I'm Crystal Paco. Health Check is presented by Island Cancer Center.